Number 14. A small business owner budgets $2,200 to purchase candles. Whoa. The owner must purchase a minimum of 200 candles candles to maintain the discounted pricing. If the owner pays $4.90 per candle to purchase small candles and $11.60 per candle to purchase large candles, what is the maximum number of large candles the owner can purchase to stay within the budget and maintain the discounted pricing? This is a Desmos problem, let me tell you. A lot of these problems, I'm going to say you can do it by hand or you can do it on the calculator. And a lot of times, if if you um, practice a lot, if you really know these concepts, doing it by hand, I know it sounds crazy. It's going to be quicker. A lot of times it is. This one, no. Desmos is your friend. The only kind of um, the hard part of this is going to be before you go over to Desmos. You're going to need to make sure that you have the correct equations. And this is a system of equations. So, all right, let's go through this again, step by step. So he has $2,200. That's the most he can spend. He has a budget. So whatever he's doing has to be less than or equal to that. He can't go over it. So something is going to be less than or equal to $2,200. He must purchase a minimum of 200 candles. So something is going to have to be equal to 200 candles, but that's the least it can be. So it may be equal to that, but it also could be greater than. All right, with me so far? All right, now let's figure out what's going to go next to these. If the owner pays, all right, pays, we're talking about money. This 2200 was money, so this 490 is going to be going up here with the money. If the owner pays 490 per candle to purchase small candles, all right, 490 per candle to purchase small candles, and 1160 per candle to purchase large candles I'm running out of room all right what is the maximum number of large candles the owner can purchase to stay within the budget okay as you notice i haven't written down anything there yet it is not explicitly said in this problem we have to come up with this what does this 200 represent it represents the minimum number of candles he has to purchase he is buying small and large candles so the small and large candles together must be greater than or equal to 200. So S plus L must be greater than or equal to 200. Now I used S and L because small and large candles. But if we're going over to Desmos, I'm going to say that X represents the small candles. And Y represents the large candles. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace these S's and L's with X's and Y's. Now, this is um, this is the point you need to go over to Desmos. You have your two equations, 490X, and that is a 4, not a 9. Let me make that really clear. 490X plus 1160Y has to be less than or equal 2200, and X plus Y has to be greater than or equal to 2200. All right, so then you've got your two equations. You're going to go over to Desmos. You're going to very carefully put them in. Make sure you get those less than or equal to greater than or equal to symbols all correct. And you're going to end up with something that looks, I'm really not drawing this to scale, kind of like that. And there's going to be shading, and you're going to have, it's going to be shaded right there and shaded like, like that. Okay. That's what you're going to get as your output. And then it says, what is the maximum number of large candles the owner can purchase to stay within it? You are going to look at this point of intersection right there. That is what you want. So you're going to zoom in. You're going to get that point of intersection. And that point of intersection, if you do that on Desmos, is 17.91 and 182.09. Now we said the Y is our large candles. So the Y is 182.09. Can I have 0 0.09 of a candle? Oh, you could carve off a piece of the candle, but if you're at a store, you cannot buy nine hundredths of a candle. You have to buy a whole candle. So 182 is going to be the maximum of large candles that he can buy to stay within that pricing. And that's going to be our answer.
yeah, Desmos problem all the way, 100%. <laughs> I would not try to do this any other way. Be sure to check out my math related merch on Spreadshop or Etsy links down below. And if you found this helpful or useful in any way, please help me help others like share, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.